In this video, I'll be demonstrating some of the new features of the Nero Measure tool. Um, but before I start, I'll mention that the model you're looking at here has been provided by Aerometrics. Uh, they create and sell some very detailed and accurate photogrammetry models of major metropolitan areas. Um, this is a portion of downtown Denver. So if I zoom into, for example, like the, uh, the back of this uh, lawn area here, I can switch to the measure tool. And just by clicking on the model, I can add a pin. And then just by hovering over to another area, I can end that measurement by clicking and adding another pin. If I wanted to end the line altogether, I just click anywhere and just click exit. And now I have the line. I, I could of course continue it on and create a perimeter or close the line and create an area measurement, which I'll show in a few minutes. Um, so here it's showing me 26 and about a half meters. Um, if I go to Google Maps and just try to validate that, oops, wrong area, it looks like I'm over here. Um, I just right click to, uh, let's first clear measurement, looks like I had one, and then start a new measurement and click again. And it's a little bit hard to see in the 3D view here, but it's around 86 feet. Um, actually, you can see it better on the bottom, 86 feet or 26 meters. And again, since Nira defaults to, to meters, uh, we're getting around that same number. So it looks like it's quite accurate. In fact, I'd probably trust this a little bit more. Um, if I wanted to view things in feet, I can just click on the line and click recalibrate and just switch to feet and then press apply. And now, uh, cl you know, click in the 3D view again, and now I'm at feet. Um, if I know, if I have some means by which I can have accurate measurements of this asset, uh, or, you know, if I had ground control points that I measured accurately um, with a total station or whatever you might be using, then you can actually recalibrate the line. So here, if I wanted to, and let's say I knew this was 100 feet, I can just type in 100 feet and then click apply. And now that's 100 feet. And every subsequent measurement I make will be relative to this new scale or ratio. Um, and, but since this model was already quite accurate, I want to just undo that. And I can do that just by clicking recalibrate and then click the reset. And now we're back to one to one. I click apply and I'm ready to go. Um, I actually kind of prefer meters, so I'll switch back to meters. Um, and then I'll mention that you can extend this line by clicking on the endpoint and just click add to. Um, and then I can go down to the, to the other corner here, click another pin. And then I'm just going to go ahead and find all four corners here and come back to the original and click link. And now I have uh, the perimeter of this line and also the area as well. So this is 450 square meters. Um, and yeah, that's the general workflow of the new measure tool. Um, pretty much every time you click, you're given an option. It works really quite well on mobile devices. So if you're using a mobile phone, everything you're doing or I'm showing you here, you can pretty much do as well. Um, if I wanted to move a point, I can easily do that as well just by left click dragging on any of the points. Uh, if I click on any of them, I can delete a point. And now I'm back to just this perimeter line here. So very simple and straightforward. Um, since I'm a logged in user, I can save this so that anyone that has access to this will get all the measurements that I've created here. If I'm just a viewer, you can do everything that I've shown here, but nothing is saved. So you're not leaving any um, you know, remnants of your access to this asset. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the new measure tool. We'll have more to come in this area. So stay tuned. Bye now.